Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's Saturday. It's Crucible Chat with a bit of Titanfall. As usual, my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict. Now, if you haven't seen this series before, this is a, a, a weekly series where I get to rant about whatever the fuck I want uh, with a bit of gameplay in the background. Normally, it's a bit of Destiny, but at the minute, I'm still enjoying Titanfall, so we, you've got a bit more Titanfall from me. Uh, and this week, I wanted to talk to you about Nintendo. Now, if you are a YouTuber of any way, shape, or form, or you just follow this kind of thing, you'll have seen there was a news article come out the other day that Nintendo have changed their rules for YouTubers. Now, I think it was last year at some point, it might have been the year before, Nintendo implemented a rule where basically if you were uploading Nintendo content, so if you were doing like gameplays on Mario or Mario Kart or what have you, uh, they would claim all advertising revenue. It was part of a feature that was put in by YouTube to protect uh, con to protect content owners, which meant you know they had the option if they wanted to they could claim all the advertising against um, a piece of work. Now Nintendo are the only games company that have actually done this that have ta that have taken all of the advertising revenue, and they noticed that there was a significant drop in the amount of Nintendo-based videos from your your common garden YouTuber. There was still official stuff like you're a gamer and IGN and stuff like that, but bog standard YouTuber like myself or like my contemporaries, no one was uploading Nintendo stuff because not because we were worried about losing money. We don't make a lot of money anyway from YouTube. It's a pittance what we do make, but it was it was the, uh, largely down to the principle of it. It was quite offensive that Nintendo decided to do this. I mean, they're well within their rights to do it. It's their content, and you know, if they don't, if there isn't a game for us to play, then we can't do it. So Nintendo make the game; they own the rights. They had the right, if they wanted to, to claim the, the advertising revenue. But they were, like I said, they were the only company that actually jumped in on this and started taking it. So this pissed off a lot of people to start with. So they changed it this week. They came out with this new Fancy Dan um, YouTubers Creators Program. And what this is, is basically it's another screw you to the YouTube community because what the, they're trying to come out and be magnanimous and say we are going to allow content creators to have, like to keep some of the revenue. So what they are doing is a revenue sharing thing. So you can, according to Nintendo, you can sign up either with individual videos or a, a full channel and they will share the advertising revenue. Now, bear in mind this way, if you are a YouTuber like myself, who is with a network, you already have to uh, revenue share with two people. I make my earnings on YouTube, YouTube take about 50% of that. Then from that 50% that's left, my network take 40% and I get 60% of that. So, you know, you're already slicing the pie a few ways, now you're putting Nintendo in the mix as well. So the way their creator program works is you make your videos, you upload them, they generate advertising revenue. YouTube takes their 50% or whatever the arbitrary figure is. I think it's, it's either 50 or 45%. Then that gets paid to Nintendo. Nintendo then will take 30 or 40%, depending on which program you're on. I'll explain that in a second. They take 30 or 40% and they then send that. Now if you're a network, they will send that to your network who will then take their cut and then give it to you. So you're adding an extra slice out of that fucking little pie that we already get and you're losing a lot of money that way. Now, there are two tiers to it as well. There are There is a 70% revenue split and a 60% revenue split and this is where it gets irritating. You can submit a whole channel to Nintendo to be considered for this um, program where you will get if you're a dedicated channel, you get 70% of that revenue. If you're just doing individual videos, you get 60% of the revenue. But if you are submitting yourself as a channel, then Nintendo will request, and they give you two weeks to comply, that you delete all non-Nintendo videos. Now that fucks me off because, I mean, I'm a multi-platform channel. I do Mac games, obviously this Titanfall's on the 360, a lot of PS4 stuff. So if I want to do anything with a Nintendo console, I would then be automatically lumped into the 60% bracket. And then it gets even more complicated because if you're in that 60% bracket and you are just submitting individual videos, you have to actually submit the video for consideration. So it's not a case of it automatically picks up and says, hey, he's Mike's done a Mario Kart game or whatever. We'll get he we'll sort out the 60 No, you have to send it for review. And then that can take up to two weeks to be reviewed. Although they do say it's usually within a few days. But even then, I mean I most of my videos, even though I have set series, are fairly ad hoc. I tend to record the videos a day or two days in advance of when it's going to go live. So, 
and the vast majority of my views come in the first 48 hours, so if I'm waiting three weeks for approval, I'm going to get no advertising revenue for that video, if I happen to be doing a Nintendo one. And it just, it screams to me of either Nintendo don't get what YouTube is about, and how we can benefit them, or they are hemorrhaging money so fast they are scraping to get every single possible penny and pound off any source that they can, and they're finding YouTube is a great way to do it. This sets a worrying trend. As it, no, it's, it's, I'm worried this is going to become a precedent. I mean, the, the vast majority of developers and publishers are relatively alright with YouTubers doing Let's Plays. You know, I, the only time I ever have any issues with copyright or anything, or anyone kind of emails me and tells me to change something, is if I've got licensed music. So if I'm doing a game like... Um, it's why, it's why if you watch my Grand Theft Auto series that I've got the radio turned off in the cars. It's all licensed music, so someone... That, that leaves you open for copyright claims if you keep the in-game music on when you're playing. So, you know, I turn that off. The orchestrated score is fine, but like the, you know, the radio stations and that, I turn them off. It's, just, it's simpler, it's easier that way. But gameplay, I don't get any copyright strikes or anything, or copyright notices or anything, generally speaking, for gameplay. Because 99% of all developers and publishers are perfectly happy for this because this is free advertising for a game. I mean, since I started playing Titanfall, I, I've had messages from about 15 different people who've gone and bought Titanfall because I've been playing it. I mean, how awesome is that? And how awesome is that for EA, who get to sell more copies of the game because people are playing this on YouTube, people are checking it out. I mean, bear in mind that there hasn't been a Titanfall advertising campaign since the game came out, uh, ooh, what was it, March last year? Sometime around then? About a year ago this game came out. So, you know, there hasn't been any advertising budget around it, yet they're, they're making sales now because it's on, because when it was on sale last week, people bought it and new people are playing it and people are making a new buzz around the game. So, it screams to me that, you, that Nintendo just don't get how to deal with YouTubers. What they should be doing is treating YouTubers with a little bit of respect and doing it like every other um, developer and publisher does. Just let them get on with it. I mean, granted, yes, it is their work. It is their, their work, and we are effectively making a small pittance off that. But at the end of the day, we YouTubers put a lot of effort in their videos, and I know I do, especially considering the amount of videos I do, and it would just be such an insult if like a developer that I love, like say for instance when Bloodborne comes out, if Sony or FromSoft said, no, oh, no, no, we're, we're going to take all of your uh, advertising revenue because you're playing our game, that would fuck me off beyond measure and it would just it would put me off playing the game It's already, I mean, I've been toying with the idea for the past couple of months of saving up to get a Wii U because there are some games on the Wii U I want to play I want to play Bayonetta 2, I want to play like, uh, the, the Mario games and stuff like that because they're fun games and I was going to do them for my channel, after this Fuck no, am I? I'm not going to touch that with a barge ball. And I just, uh, you know, it's it's so infuriating. I, I don't even have the words for it. That's, that's how annoyed it makes me. Because at the end of the day, Nintendo are the first ones who are doing this, who are doing this revenue share. And I can guarantee you there will be people sat in the boardrooms of the likes of EA or Ubisoft going, ooh, maybe we should do that. Microsoft won't do it, and no Sony won't do it directly because hey, they give they're giving people creator tools. You know, the YouTube you can upload directly to YouTube from both the Xbox One and the PS4, so they're not going to do that. But games publishers might, and that that is the issue. That is what I'm worried about. But we're coming up to the end of my gameplay here, so th this has been a pretty pretty ranty little crucible chat. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and you hit that subscribe button. I've got some really good gameplay on stuff coming up. I've got obviously Half Life Two tomorrow. I've got uh, Grand Theft Auto, Dark Souls, uh, Resident Evil HD, and there is still the competition for that. I'll put a link in the description to the video where you can find out on how to win a copy of um, Resident Evil HD for the PC. Got one copy to give away on Steam. But yes. Please leave a like, do subscribe, share it about, let me know what you thought about this little rant in the comments section, and I'll see you on the next one. But for now, good night.